ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I would like to present the actual state of the art as motivation of students is concerned. Uh, I have to repeat what you have heard from previous speakers, that there is the actual lack of students' motivation to learn or to study chemistry, Chem also in the Czech Republic. Chemistry is considered as difficult and unpopular at elementary and high schools, uh, which causes that only a few students choose chemistry for their future studies for of higher ed education. And the question is, what are the reasons for lack of students' motivation? Uh, we can analyze them. Uh, and the first reason is uh, are the teaching methods, because teaching is mostly conducted in two abstract terms. Uh, then the students uh, cannot imagine what the teacher is talking about. Not not every time, but sometimes it is so, uh, because the students try to remember the facts by heart without trying to understand them. Uh, the, the education in chemistry classes consists in too much theoretical lecturing instead of presenting of real life examples. And the textbooks are often old and contain abstract plain text without simple explanation. So the students copy the formula and the equations from the table and don't trying to understand them. Theory is preferred to practice for several reasons. One of the reasons is that you have heard about too low allocation of chemistry for chemistry lessons at schools. Uh, for B, lack of teachers who wants to teach chemistry by a different way. Not only teacher, not every teacher, but some of them are so. Uh, there is no doubt that there are teachers who want to change the way of teaching and teach uh, by modern way, teach very nice, <coughs> nicely. Uh, and I am glad that uh, such teachers are present here at this conference. But even though they want to change the way of teaching, they are limited for several reasons because many chemicals are no more allowed to use that we, <clears throat> we used to use these chemicals and now they are for, uh, forbidden uh, during some limitations, some legislative. Uh, many schools cannot afford to buy expensive chemicals or expensive equipment uh, to maintain the laboratory or to modernize their laboratory. And so number of possible experiments is limited. Even though there is a time for experiments, for laboratory trainings in chemistry lessons, the number of experiments is limited. Pupils and students are not only unsuccessful in chemistry, but also gradually become disgusted by chemistry. So they prefer other subjects for their following study and professional career. Pupils consider chemistry and physics as the least popular subjects. That's uh, based on some particular research activities. There is also close connection between difficulty and popularity of subject. An easy subject is also favorite, and vice versa. Difficult subjects are not favorite. Pupils are not able to transform the abstract facts that they have uh, learned to the real situation. Maybe there is a problem that pupils first meet chemistry in puberty, which is a crazy period of human's development, and it's a period of resistance. Uh, the children ask, why do I learn these equations, and why do I learn this? Uh, and, uh, but there are several more reasons 
because pursuing a career in chemistry does not appear to be in style for the youth. Nowadays, mainly tertiary sector of economy, that means the service sector speeds up economics, and etc. So chemistry and science at all are not so favored. Heavy industry, which prevailed for decades, has receded recently because of turnover in political and economical development in 1990s. Uh, there is a demand to lower harmful emissions. There are some limitations for chemical industry and also pressures from ecological organization, more or less rightful, but there are also some ecologic organization which defame chemistry. Prospective students prefer humanistic branches as sociology, political science, laws, economics, etc. People don't realize, people and also the students, that chemistry is versatile and ubiquitous. Chemistry is all around us, which is the name of our previous project, but chemistry is also inside us. Uh, which are ways to increase students' motivation? The first of the first is teachers' approach. Teachers would suggest more real-life examples if they, uh, if they can. Some, uh, the teachers have to teach what, they, uh, what is written in the curriculum. They must prepare the students for living examination and also for admission examination for higher degree. Various teaching methods can be utilized, for example, games, trend subject, project education, proper experiments, etc., if available. The teaching methods is crucial for students. It is better to learn non-violently, seemingly incidentally. However, innovation of teaching decides a great portion of enthusiasm. The teachers have to be enthusiastic. ICT-based material, usage of computers can increase students' motivation to learn chemistry. They can help. Even complex phenomena can be visualized by pictures, videos, and other applications. It is necessary to review and assess the materials because the materials are of different quality, different extent for different targets, group, and purpose. There are many, many materials, and that's one of the aims of our, com uh, of, uh, our project, Chemistry is for Around Network, to assess and review the teaching or learning materials. There are only a few suitable online available materials in Czech language. Uh, the other materials from English have to be translated. Be but not every Czech chemistry teacher masters his English so much that he or she could translate the materials for the students. Computer translators are not sufficient because uh, they are not able to translate the text clearly and correctly. And last but not least, the teachers are very busy. They have to teach, they have to solve educational problems, uh, to do lots of paperwork. So they are very busy. They are exhausted to modernize their teaching. Electronic learning tools uh, have been employed in many schools, but uh, of course it is expensive. Uh, modern electronic learning tools, interactive whiteboards, tablets, etc. We assume that this could increase the attractiveness of uh, the teaching for pupils and students. These technical innovations cannot help without quality software, without quality content. Uh, so the teaching materials have to be adapted for these uh, tools. International student exchange, we uh, assume that international student exchange should be enhanced, extended for university students and but for secondary school students as well. This can help to motivate them. 
to spend some time in foreign country. Uh, and for the five, fifth, popularization events. Uh, students' motivation can be enhanced by these events. And I would like to uh, name some events that are performed by Institute of Chemical Technology, by our institute. Uh, some of them are more detailed, described at the post on the posters. So please, if you haven't seen the posters, you can do it during the breaks. I would like to kindly invite you. Uh, lessons of answer, lessons of modern chemistry, or lessons of modern science, more generally, laboratory exercises for secondary schools at our institutes, summer scientific camps, then Petra Holzhauser has a poster about camp in Bestwina, summer school and workshops for secondary school teachers, scientific trades, that means open air fairs for common public, and many other events. According to our experience, it is desirable to focus mainly on teenagers at the age of 13 to 16, because this is the age when the most of teenagers form their mind, form their ideas of future career. At the last two grades of upper secondary schools, at the age of 18 or 19, they are already decided. They know they hate chemistry or they know they like, love chemistry. So, uh, just brief conclusions. Many students consider chemistry difficult and not interesting for future career. The reasons of this lack are of different origin from obsolete teaching methods and tools to general unpopularity of the chemistry. This state can be improved by implement of new teaching methods and equipment. However, this is limited by cost of new tools and time and effort necessary to ch for change. There are many ICT-based teaching materials available. Reviews of them can help the teachers to choose the proper one. Students' motivation can be also enhanced by various popularization events performed by universities and other scientific institutes. Just some literal references. And the last, the most important sentence, thank you for your attention. <laughs>